Hi there, Bon Crowder here with Math4.com. Math is not a four-letter word. Discussing the Tiagi Circle Jolt. It is a quick puzzle used to get you thinking in a little bit different direction, and indeed it did for me yesterday at the seminar. So the first part, in part one, you saw that my solution my initial solution and all the variations that I could come up with and then teacher's pet Mark went up to the board and gave his solution which was slightly different than mine instead of coming in from the left and then going around the circle he came in from the left and went through the first circle like that so he drew a straight long line and then he went up and around, and then out and up and around. As soon as I thought saw that, I thought, aha, there's a whole bunch more of these. So indeed, I take my original eight and I multiply them by twice because I had all mine plus now his way with that eight ways. So I can come in from the left hand side and go across and go again I did up first out and then up again and out so that's the second way then I can come in from the left and go across this is very counterintuitive for me because my instinct is to stop at the first circle so I go across and when you're teaching kids they're going to choose one way or the other, and so it's going to be a really interesting challenge for them to wrap their brain around doing it the opposite way. So it'll be a lot of fun for you to watch them see how they process that go the other way kind of thing. So go across, what is this? Up, up. We can go both down, down, and around, and then down, and around and out. And then from the other way, down and around, and down, and around and out. So here's our initial places. And then we go to um, up, then down. So come in, don't stop there go through and also there's an inclination to go all the way through to the second circle if you do that then you realize you're going to be stuck so you go all the way through we're going up and around and then down and around same thing from the right hand side up then around and down and around and one more from the left all the way through and then we're going to go down and round and then up and around and likewise the other circle comes in from the right all the way through probably need to get a different paint marker and I go for the inner circle I'm going up It's really really hard once you've got your brain wrapped around the other one and then down and around and there you have the other eight so you have all 16 different ways to do this puzzle I uh, come on my drive home I actually gave thought to it and somehow came up with there was another um, well there were 64 altogether and then when I sat with pencil and paper in hand I realized that wasn't the case so uh, in my brain I had worked out 64 ways to do this but I think I was going across and stopping at different points or something anyway that's another interesting question uh, when you when you pose it to your child or to your classroom um, how many different ways can you think of in your head and then once you get your brain around those 
What do they look like on paper? Interesting to find out. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.